Good evening, everyone. Okay, there we go. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and this is Let's Make a Game. Um, basically, I'm, I'm going and creating my own version of Lumber Tycoon 2. Um, a couple of things right off the bat. Okay, it, like, I would love to go and read comments and everything else, but I really want to cram as much of the builds and the programming and scripting into these videos. So please forgive me for not going through and, like, doing the comments things and doing the cool little things I normally do. Let's do this. Um, what I want to cover today is the lighting, okay? This lighting just... Oh, wait, before I get started, look. <coughs> oh, wait, that was a little quick. That was, like, really quick. Um, I wasn't, was not supposed to do that. Hold on. There we go. So we get into the water. There we go. We're starting to take damage. Hold on. Let's get back out of the water. Well, that script is not working properly. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's not. Mm -mm. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try one more time. What's going on here? Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four, five. Get out of the water. Yay! So, should be the same as this. One, two, three. This looks like it goes a little bit quicker, and it might be a, a little bit different damage. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, my gosh. You actually got to sneeze on camera. Wow. Okay, Um. let's try something. Okay. There's also a day-night cycle that I keep forgetting about. Um, okay, so let's hit stop. Let's try... Uh, lighting, ambience, check that all the way up. Oh, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here. Did I do that right? Check that right up there, like that. Okay, that looks like really bright. In comparison. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, in the fog. Uh, see how there's fog off in the distance? Um, hold on, we control that in the lighting as well, so... Let's go down here. Time of day. I'm going to have to make a time of day timer thing. Um, 5,000. There's a, there's a little bit of fog. Um, let's, let's go, let's go 2,000. Oh, that's, whoa, that's way too foggy. Okay, hold on. Um, 3,000. Looking closer. Uh, things off in the long distance, I shouldn't be able to see. <laughs> but I mean, that is a ways over there, so I don't. I don't know. Hmm. Let's let's go let's go two thousand five hundred two thousand five hundred. Try that, and we'll leave it alone for now. Uh, two five zero zero. Yeah. There we go. There we go. That looked good. That looks good. Mm -hmm. I might even bring that back up to 3,000. Let's, let's go back up to three. 3,000. 3,000 is good. Okay. Um, so next, 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 next. Oh, um, instead of just doing builds all the time, I do, or uh, scripting all the time, I do want to do builds as well. So let's try... Um, hmm, I don't know if a boat ramp's going... We're not going to do this tonight, but I will, I will do this, this right here. So, is there a little bit of a, there's like a fifth right there of a gap. <clears throat> and then, is that a straight line for the turn? It looks like a straight line. Straight line, straight line. Okay, cool. So let's, uh, let's try that. What kind of material is this? Okay, so <clears throat> do, 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 do. I'm going to add a part, and I'm going to color it. Da, oh wait, where's model? There we go. Material, it's going to be wood. What color shall we choose? It's like a weird brown. Um, it's like a light brown, right? Da, 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 da. Uh, let's. Ooh. Hold on. How do I? I'll just slowly 
Put in there. Um, well, let's go to scale. Whoa, oh, nope. We have to be moving one by ones because everything is persistent. Persistently even. And we gotta make sure that this goes down below the water surface. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Control Z. Because I don't know what I just moved there. Whoa, okay, that ambient light is too, too bright. I can't even see the texture of the water floor. Whoa, it's like super bright. Okay, let's go back and change that because it's too bright now. What about like a medium right there in the center? Still too bright, wow. down maybe there let's go uh, I have to look at the avatar the avatar is what caused me to change that and that's right at center global shadows Ooh, does it look uh hold up yeah global shadows see that see that stuff <clears throat> good stuff all right, so let's uh, let's just hit F5. I'm gonna play this real quick. Um, by the way, that part just fell down. He still looks really shadowy, really shady, shady. He he looks he looks like he's got too much shade for some reason. Like shiny on this side, darkened on this side. This is much softer glow. It's like all over. This. No, we don't want legacy. Not shadow map. Not voxel. It's definitely compatibility. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. What does that do? Outlines. It's definitely changing all the textures. I don't know why. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> brightness is set to two. Can I set that to zero? Zero brightness. Ooh, there we go. Zero brightness and then turn the ambient back up. Ooh -hoo -hoo. There we go. <gasps> that looks better. Okay. <clears throat> That looks like the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> and our character looks looks better as well. So, okay. I gotta remember what those were. So I'm just gonna take a snip. Control new. Don't know what that looks like on the camera, but there we go. That way I can hit stop and just check these. See, they all changed. So let's put this back up to 255, okay. And that was brightness of zero. And gray compatibility outlines. There we go. <clears throat> good, good. So, if you happen to be making adjustments inside the game, like while you're while you're running the game or while you're testing, be sure to screenshot it. Um, just hit start. Type out the word snip. Hit enter. Um, if you're on Windows 10, it also works on Windows 7 as well. Uh, if you're still using Windows 7 or Windows 8 or 8.1, I think. Anyhow. And then you can just uh, snip what you need to. Now the fog looks different. It's a definite outline of whatever's there. Um, also, let's let's look at the, that time of day. Where was the um, time of day? Clock time fourteen. Let's go to twenty-two. Ooh, that's really close. But the fog color is like this purplish color. <laughs> and have you ever noticed how the, the fog color kind of changes a little bit? So um, let's go back over to the lighting. And I'm going to look for like a weird purpley color. Right, that's that's ambient. I don't want ambient. I want fog. 
Where's my fog color? Let's go blue. Ooh. Ooh, that's getting close. It's a little bit more grayish. Grayish purple. Like that. And there's definitely no shadowing on those. There's shadows there. if I back up some. I've got nothing off in the distance, so. <clears throat> Let's change that back down to 2500. Ooh. Ooh, that's close. That is so close. The sky looks different, though. I wonder if he's using a different thing. Global shadows don't do anything. Outlines don't not really. All right, let's go with 24 o'clock time. It's about 5 a.m. 7 a.m. 6 a.m. It's about six. Mine's a little bit more purpley. His is a little bit more gray. So let's go back over to the fog. And we're going to push it down to just about there. So a little bit more tealish. It's close. It's really close. We'll leave it for now. <clears throat> Back to modeling. Let's go ahead and move this out. I want to make sure that it will reach the sea floor. It is not to the sea floor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Make sure it's just under the sea floor. Then, hello. If we look at how high this is, it's about mm, hip high. Past the scale. Oops, oops, oops. Control Z. Control. So if you hold control, it'll it'll expand one side but not the other. That's one thing I like about the control feature. Alright, and we're just under the surface. And this needs to come up to right about here. I think. Maybe. I could be completely off and wrong about this, but we're just gonna shoot this over here. And That does not look hip high. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and anchor that part. We're gonna hit F5 real quick. I'm just gonna run in here. All right, that is too, too low. I need it up to about the belly, about the belly. <clears throat> so let's go here, scale, control, one, two. Might've been too high, maybe. A little too high. All right, we'll come back down, back down one unit. One. Oh, by the way, a lot of people have been asking me, have you asked Defaultio? Is Defaultio okay with this? I don't know. I haven't spoken with Defaultio, but um, I'm like, I hope this is like the biggest form of flattery um, to try and do this particular thing. Um, then again, I'm not copying his scripts I'm not copying his things like what I mean by copy is I'm not grabbing the free copy that's out there pulling it in taking it and modifying it a little bit and then sticking it out as my own I'm literally like I'm taking everything step by step showing you the process of me looking at what he's got trying to do my best to replicate it it's it's still it would be like making a painting of a painting. It's not going to be as good as the original works, um, but is it my own? Yes, it's my interpretation of his game. So I hope you're okay with that answer. Um, Defaultio, if you're watching, I hope you're okay with that answer. And if not, let me know because he's he's got the ability to DM me directly and, and talk to me. So, all right, continuing on, let's go with surface area. 
smooth, no outlines. Because we don't want outlines on anything. Nothing should have outlines. Boo, outlines. I'm just kidding. You might want outlines every once in a while, but uh, I don't. So, there we go. That's that. Now, for the wood plank, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So, it's about four seconds across. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's about four across. So, um, let's move. I'm going to grab this. Shift, no, control. Oh, wait, wait. Um, what is this called? Doc post. I'm going to take and duplicate that. Um, but I'm not going to use it like you guys think. Let's scale this. Scale. Right, control Z. Right, which one? Uh, yeah, that one. Come here. Z. Okay, let's just come across like this. Come up like that. And scroll down like that. <clears throat> it's about, what, one unit in? It's exactly one unit in. And I would say it's about one and a half units thick. So about one and a half units. <clears throat> Um, because I want to keep everything to scale. Let's, let's go, let's go one. Let's leave it at one. Hopefully that'll be good enough. Uh, change the material to planks, wood planks. And it's that, that's not the direction. The planks are going this way. So we need to turn this. So rotate. Like that. Scale, like that, like that. We're going to take this. We're going to Control D to duplicate. Move that over to here. Is this not? <clears throat> okay, let's go look at the sizes. Twenty-five, one, twenty-six. Mm. Four by four. Twenty-five, twenty-six. Let's do twenty-six, twenty-six. Twenty-six by one by twenty-six. So that's about a unit in. That's about a unit. That's way off. Why is that not? What's the position? Oh, that's why. Okay, so we are going to take this down to seventeen, three. 136. There we go. Then these need to be two like that. So we're we're making things exact. And we want them to move by exact scales. Just because it makes it makes things much cleaner later on. Uh, we should be able to come over one unit, right? There we go. So that's about the scale that we want. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move. Oh, wait, wait. I just undid the move. <laughs> ah. All right. We're about one unit above, so let's go down just like that. Ooh, it's, it's going to be clippy. Which is okay. I'm okay with that. Now, did I see something below here? Oh yeah, he's got he's got details below this thing. Hmm. Chain default here would be a great place to hide a code of some kind. So he's actually got cross beams and ladder, or like support beams across this thing. Hmm. Okay. 
Let's make some support beams. Um, uh, control D. Oh, no, no, no. Z. I don't want to do that. This is not the dock post. This is the dock walk? Dock play? Dock main? No. We'll just call it dock. And then we're going to shift or control D this one and move it over just a little bit. And then we're going to scale, pull this up, pull this down. There we go. Now the inside cross beams are actually smaller by like a fourth, a fifth, a half, half a unit. How far out did this come? Two units, two units out. And are the support beams only on the post? They are only on the post. So it's in between the, the posts that these actually occur. Very much attention to detail, dude. Very nice. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and scale this across. How far in between these are there? Let's do shift duplicate, move. Come across like that. Should be enough that you can jump in between them because I can jump in between these just barely. And I think I might be out of scale. Hold on. Let me be way off scale. No, that's about right. No, it's not. These are smaller because if I were to stand just to the right. Uh, ooh, I'm gonna sneeze again. Oh, look out. Ooh. Ah, ooh. Wow. Wowzers. <clears throat> so, let's see here. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Um, these are not four by fours. These are three by threes. So scale one, scale one. That should be a three by three, I think. Hit a five, I'm gonna run this again. My arms should go the width. Yeah, three by three is. So yeah, I was way off. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, let's keep going. <laughs> Stop. And uh, we can go ahead and just delete that one. Delete that one. Take this one. And move. We're going to go shift. And now control D. Duplicate. And then we should be able to just move this over like that. Make sure it's one unit in. Good. Uh, delete that. Take this, and we're going to go Shift D. No, Control D. And we're going to change the scale like this. Watch this. Do this. Do this. That. Oops. Oops. oops, oops. Control Z. That one down there. Just gonna come up like this. Nice. Now, are the cross beams the same length? No, they look slightly smaller. And since we're at three, you know what? I kind of like it the same size. It shows consistency and whatnot. Okay, so. Let's uh, duplicate this. Shift, uh, no, Control D, and we're going to scale. No, I was right on scale. Drink, drink. It's going to be one unit bigger than the crossbeam. And we're going to 
just going to come out this direction with it. That actually looks too big. Do like a side support beam. This is actually two units inward like that. One unit out like that. Kind of like that. I like it. Uh, and there is a gap. There's a one unit gap in between those. Why is it so bright? Is it just because I don't have shadows? Hmm. Let's go back over to lighting. Global shadows. No. <clears throat> time of day is it? It's during the daytime, so let's go to noon. Still looks really bright. See, but this has like little shadows and stuff in between. I've got to figure out the lighting. If somebody has a, a clue about the lighting, please let me know in the comments down below. Okay. Let's go ahead and duplicate this. Shift, nope, control D. Move. I want to come one unit in, just like that. Uh-oh, did that not control D? There we go. There we go, that's good. So that will be our dock. So we want to call these support beams. So that's these right here. Dock support. Dock support. And I, oops, actually, this one's cross beam. So let's call this one cross, cross beam. And then this one's going to be dock support. <clears throat> there we go. Good. So we got dock, dock post, dock cross beam, and dock supports. Good. Good. So now um, I can actually scale these. Um, we're going to scale one at a time. So they go into here, just like that. <clears throat> now this does not go out very far before it bends down. Like it's right at that first post. So let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> You know what? I'm actually going to make a um, going to make a new folder. Uh, insert object, or actually, I guess I could just make a model, right? With all of these, uh, the dock itself. If that's the last one I do, Control G to group into a model. We'll just, whoops, we'll just call that dock. Down by the boardwalk. <coughs> Down by the sea, yeah. <clears throat> All right, uh, loop. loop, just like that. And loop. So now, if I take all of these, control, shift, no, control D. And then I move. Let's move. Wrong way. Grab the blue one. Like that. <clears throat> Let's see if I can actually jump in between those two. Do, 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 do. Ooh, so close. Ooh, I don't know that that's, <laughs> we might, we might go one unit less because I want that jump obby feel kind of thing. 
Uh, so let's select just this scale, bring this in one unit, just like that. And then I'll grab these, oh, no, maybe. Hold, all right, hold Alt and Shift at the same time to select multiple objects inside a model. Alt and Shift at the same time for objects inside a model. Now, move. You're a big dog. Let's see you move. There we go. And because this is this, and it's it's like, let's do this. I'm going to move down one, two, about how many units? Oh gosh. I would say in between this height and this height, that's about one unit. So, it's about five units down towards the water. So, <clears throat> we are going to unselect this one and this one. We're going to rotate just like that. That might be too steep of an angle. Yeah, that's too steep. Come back one. Just like that. In between here and here should be about unit. So let's move these back up one unit, possibly. Oops, we don't we don't want to do that. We want to move everything up at the same time. Oh, and did that? <gasps> I missed a piece. No. Control Z. Alt shift. Control. There we go. Okay. Now we can rotate. Oh wait. We don't want to select those when we're rotating. There we are. And we're just going to pull this down. Move down one. That's really hard because it's not. Okay, so let's turn off the move by one stud and move this in just a little bit. Gosh. This in. Now, is there going to be a gap? Right there, there is a gap. So, we want to scale this out just a little bit. Let's do scaling. Scales. Same on the side. Scales. Good. <clears throat> and for this, um, let's go ahead and move. I'm going to grab copies of this. Uh, shift, duplicate, no, control D to duplicate. Move. And down. The reason I want to duplicate instead of like scaling is because, oh gosh, that is off by the slightest hair. <sighs> hmm. Actually, that's probably a horrible idea. Let's uh, let's do that to get the post in the correct spot. So, um, let's see. Control D. Move out. Oops. Wrong one. Z. Control D. Move out. How many posts does it go down? One, two, three. So, one, two, three. So this is where it should level back out. Let's go ahead and grab this, this, and ah, this, this, this. No, not that one. We're going to delete those two. Then, for these, this, this, 
this. Wait, is that the crossbeam? No, just this. <laughs> we want to stretch this out over the, the course of all of those. So, make sure it's at the right height first. That's why I was selecting these. Okay. Shift. 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 Alright. Let's move it back up. We're coming off the one scale. And is that global or local? grab this and just kind of stretch it a little bit like that. That way it closes that little gap right there. But that little gap By the way, this this itty bitty piece right here, this this gap could destroy a truck. Scale this this direction. Right there. That's good. That's really good. Okay. Let's leave it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Control Z. <laughs> Alright, let's grab this and we're just going to scale this all the way down like that. So we have our one, two, three down. One, two, three down. And then it's going to switch back over. <clears throat> so this we can go ahead and just scale this way. Like that. And same on this side. Just going to grab this and scale this way. Good. A good. I'm going to grab this and hopefully we are on local, right? All right, so here's um, a tip for building. When you're moving stuff around, see how the arrow has got an angle to it? That's because it's on its local axis. So for example, if I rotate like this, and then I go back over to the move, see how this axis, that actually goes with the object. So I'm looking at the, the object's axis, not the world. So if you hold control and press L, it changes your axis to a global perspective. So that's the axis compared to the world. Where where the world axis is, that's where I want to drag. That actually took me so long to figure out because I was trying to move it with the axis and everything else. So control L will switch your axis or axes because there's multiple. Uh, we're just going to control Z that to get it back out of here. So I'm going to be moving on a local axis, not a global axis, to get these to line up. So one right there. And I don't know if that's exactly right, but then I'm gonna do shift or control D to duplicate this out. We're gonna come back down to here. Control D, duplicate. Right here. And then that we'll complete the, the small ramp. So now we can grab this right here. So hold control and shift, no, alt, All right? So control and alt, no, shift and alt, sorry. Shift and alt and grab our originals. I like these. Make sure you get the cross beam. Do we get these cross beams down here? shift like that. So now I can go control D and move. I'm gonna move this out. And this is going to go oh gosh. Oh, hold on. Control Z, control Z. Turn on the one move because I want it to go back to being exact again. And no. 
looks like it's one off. So, okay, turn off the move. We're just gonna have to do the best we can. All right, and I want to move this way, yeah. And slightly up. really close really close where's position I can't do position that's the way it is hmm I'm just gonna move this down just slightly 370 oops wrong way because this is negative 375 to 380 So let's leave that there. Um, make sure, mind the gap right here, scale this out. Oh, control V. I want to go back to the one stud movements. There we go. Same thing over here. One stud movement. What's it look like at the end of the dock? And how many does this go for? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it goes for six all the way across. So one, <clears throat> um, let's do this. We're going to grab these, um, control D, maybe, did that, did that duplicate? Nope, move, there we go. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six of those, right? Does that look right? I didn't realize how long the dock was. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then it's got a little thing at the end. So we can now hold Alt and get rid of all these in the middle. Oh, did I just select the ocean? I did. <laughs> Delete those. Grab this one. We're going to scale it up just like so to the very end. And we're going to give it that little lip at the end, just like that. Maybe one more. Then, whoa. This cross beam right here, we can scale that all the way up like this to right about there. Um, which cross beam do we see at the very end? All right, so these come out, they jut out. So that's good. Uh, and then I can actually, oh, I've already got one over here like that. And since we're moving to one scales, we should be able to come out the exact same amounts. Whoa. It's about two units. That's one. No. no. Come out one more. There we go. Now for the cross beams. Grab this one and move. Shift. Uh, no, control D. Duplicate. I always want to do shift. I don't know why. And these are all going to be exact units, so we can just kind of slap them in there, and they they will be correct. Control D. So I hope you're doing okay with the videos. I know that building and scripting and stuff it is very time consuming, and that's one of the reasons I'm doing this is because I have not had time in five years, four years. To, to sit down and actually do this. I mean, I've 
played and programmed and done little things here and there, but nothing that I'd, I've followed through with yet. Ooh, oh, we gotta make a ladder. We've got to have the ladder. By the way, the dock is just like one unit. That's awesome. Uh, shall we go look at it first? And, real quick, because this is doing the little glitchy thing right there, I am going to move this down like the slightest. <clears throat> so it's just under the ground, that one, one fifth of a unit under. Let's go take a look. Hello. Oh my gosh. It looks so amazing. Will I be able to fit cars in here though? It looks thin. Like in comparison. I bet I can fix that. It does It does look thin, doesn't it? Okay, hold on. One, two, three, four. It's about four seconds. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's way off. Oh gosh, oh no, please no. Oh. No. <laughs> nice. That doesn't, that doesn't work <laughs> quite the same. It's definitely a different, like, I don't think the floaties are on the arms. I mean, I think they are, but, hold on. It's gotta be the, the root part. That's what's floating. Ooh. So, and all the parts, like, stop in place. Their angular motion, like, they might fly a little bit, but they don't, they don't go the same way. It's not quite the same. Uh, hopefully, I can start working on some trees. Because <laughs> I, I still... Th these are all scripted and stuff like that. So... Hmm... Alright. Why is it so dark? Oh, is it... No, it's noon. This looks dark. This looks so bright and vibrant. I don't know why... Mine looks so dark and dreary. Is it because I turned this down? I think it is. It still just looks foggy. What about can I can I make it like a white skin? Oh. Didn't that mess up the, the ocean floor Ooh. before? No, that's that's okay. That looks good. Hmm. Okay. We'll leave it. We'll leave it there. <laughs> let's go. Let's go widen that uh, that dock. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go ahead and move you. We are going to come out here. Wait, are we? We're not moving by studs, are we? Right about, mm, right about there. So, this one. Uh, oh, we have to scale these, don't we? One unit in. This one. One unit in. This one. Oh, that's. Wait, is that an angle? Come on, delete that. Come here, you. Scale. We want to save on partage parts when we can. One unit in. There we go. So this one. This one. And this one. We can go ahead and just move. We'll pull these over. Are they exactly... Nope, they're about a unit off. Now, for all of these. These, I've got to scale each one individually. Great. Wait, is that? Yeah, there we go. 
holding, because this is part of a model, I do have to hold Alt to select these, uh, these parts. How far along are we? Oh my gosh! 50 minutes? I am so sorry. <laughs> you know what? These, these might just have to be an hour-long session of me building and scripting and doing things because I'm having way too much fun with them. Did that? Okay. Wow. I do apologize about the, the hour-long board, boredness. Of course, I don't know if you guys are bored or not, but I love, I love building, scripting, and doing everything, so, you know, good to me. Plus, it gives me time to come in here and actually play and do things. Now let's go. Let's go check out that uh, that ladder. That'll be the last thing I do. I do the ladder, and I think I might open it up and give you guys a badge. Um, I'm probably not going to record it, but anybody who comes and plays before the game's actually released, I'll do like a pre-release badge of some kind. Um, maybe don't don't listen to me. I talk smack a lot. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to control D this one. We're just going to scale this way down. Where, where's that at? One, two, three. So it's the third one back. One, two, three. So we're, we're over here. So right here, how wide's the ladder? The ladder is one unit out, one unit scale. So let's do this one unit out is it out and away from the dock it is not uh, it is but like a fourth of an inch or a fourth of a unit uh, how wide is it this direction one unit so this is going to be a scale of one by ones Oh, not, not like that, but like uh, like this one. This is one unit out, one unit across, like that. All the way down. How far down does this go into the water? Cool. So let's go ahead and scale this downward. Just like that. We're going to use Control D to duplicate. And how far across does this go? About two units away from the opposite side. So one, two units, and it's one unit wide. Uh, we'll probably go three units. Let's go three, like that, like that, like that. Good. Now we need um, this and this. These are going to be all right. Lat ladder, ladder post, and this one's going to be a ladder post. <clears throat> now, I'm going to go Control D to duplicate this one, and I would say it's about a unit in between each one, a little bit bigger than a unit in between each one, so. This is going to be this direction. We're going to scale this down. They are one unit wide. So, hold on, let's grab a scale right here. Uh, let's do this control. Uh, I'm going to move, and this is going to be a Ladder rung. Rung? The rungs of a ladder, I think. I think that's I think that's how you spell it. Maybe. Possibly. Um, so let's do this. Control D. Control D. One, two, control D. One, two. One, two. One, two. Uh, 
I guess I didn't need to do that last one there. <coughs> and we're going to put this at, um, let's see, what is one divided by five? It's 0. 0.2 and scale this up. Scale this up, scale this up. That doesn't look right. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, undo. Let's do 0. 0.5. That way it's only half, half a unit. And does that go all the way to the top? It does not. It stops right there. Uh, however, these do go up to the top. So let's go back to one. Go up one. Up, up one. There we go. <clears throat> so all of these, um, the ladder rungs, the ladder post, and that one, control G. We're going to group those into um, F2. We're going to just call this uh, dock ladder. Then I'm going to put this down to that point two, and we're going to move it out just slightly like that. Maybe one more. Might be too much. Go back in one. There we go. So let's do this. Let's do this. <clears throat> I might have to put more rungs on it because they looked thin. We'll find out. Oh no, I can't get up. No, no, no. No, please help. Yep, <clears throat> that didn't work. <laughs> All right, so we're at 0.5. Um, hmm. Stop, 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 stop. Um, let's see. Dock ladder. Let's grab all the, uh, the dock rungs. We're going to go control D and duplicate. We're going to just move them down. Like that. Maybe. <laughs> that went a little bit further than expected. We're going to scale that down. Okay. Let's try that. <clears throat> Just for fun. Just see if it works. I mean, this is all for fun. It's all for fun and one for all. <clears throat> Yay. That looks awesome. I can't tell that it's on top though, so stop. Let's grab the ladder itself, and we're not going to scale, but we are going to move down just underneath the dock like that. Beautiful, and is this a different color? I think it might be a different color. I think the dock might be slightly darker than the rest, but that's okay. I think we're good. We're it, an hour long episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, again, if you know anything about the lighting, help me out with the lights. Um, but yeah, we made a dock. Oh, that's going to be a beautiful screenshot. Beautiful. Um, let's go ahead and close those down. Close this down. Go back to the lighting. We're going to change the time of day to 1400. 1400. 1900 is too dark. How about 18? There we go. It's looking more and more beautiful. Just saying. I do like the dynamic shadows. The shadows definitely do something for it. So I've got to figure out why the shadows archivable hold on where's uh where's that type of lighting legacy is being deprecated okay fine shadow map Ooh. voxel and we might go with something different who knows outdoor ambient Ooh. Ooh. 
Is that what it is? Let's change it from shadow mapping back to compatibility. It just it looks darker back here, but more defined right here. Who knows? Thank you everyone for watching this episode of um, Let's Make a Game with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the very end like a good YouTuber, but really it's, it's up to you if you want. And I know that I'm putting out a lot of videos and they're really long, but that's just it. It's going to be a series. And if you're watching as the videos are coming out, good for you. But I mean, this is going to be like an entire huge series to come for years and years. So if you're watching like two years from now, good deal. That's that's the purpose is to get this as a sustainable series that you can watch for years to come. Not just the, the one time and be like, oh, I watched it and I'm good. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro. Thank you.